Hey folks, this is Arun Thuravyam with Go Engineer and welcome to our What's New in SolidWorks Simulation 2019 video. This year our team here at Go Engineer decided to build a flying saucer and we used SolidWorks Simulation to analyze the structural strength of this design. We were able to build a substructure to withstand the thrust loads, flexural loads and the air pressure loads experienced during flight. Now let's take a look at some key enhancements that were implemented in the 2019 version of the software. Here we have the flying saucer assembly. Now taking a closer look under the skin, you will see the six ramjet engines and the struts that give the aircraft its much needed strength. Now to test the existing design in its entirety might be time consuming at a preliminary stage. So with the power of SOLIDWORKS configurations, we were able to create and analyze just one sixth of the model cutting down analysis times drastically. Now in order to simulate the thrust loads from the main turbine, the remote load function was used. This way we didn't have to include the turbine or model its connections to load the substructure. Here a modest load of about 20,000 pounds was transferred to the substructure through the struts. Now besides this, a pressure load from flying the aircraft at very high speeds was also applied. Now looking at the stress results, you will see that the model is safe under these conditions. Now due to symmetric constraints applied to the model, the results can also be visualized across all six slices. In 2019, there have been some enhancements to the remote load function. Previously, applying the remote load prevents any relative motion between all the faces defined. But with 2019, we are able to define a distributed coupling that allows relative motion between these components based on weighting factors. This prevents any artificial constraints imposed on the model from the remote connectors yielding even more accurate results. Now looking at the stresses, you will see that the stress has increased by about 20,000 PSI from the previous study on the outer skin which could be an area of concern. Now here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two models to showcase the difference that the new remote loading function in SOLIDWORKS 2019 brings to your analysis. Now the next enhancement in SOLIDWORKS simulation is performance improvements to the load case manager. The load case manager is a convenient way to set up multiple load cases in the same static study. Primary load cases are defined and solved as individual static studies which are then utilized by the load case combinations to quickly combine the primary load cases in user-defined ratios. Now here the pressure and the thrust load have been defined as primary cases which the software will then solve and use to calculate the load case combinations. Now new load case combinations can be added through simple arithmetic formulae. Now we've just added a fourth case to estimate the strength of the aircraft to four times the design pressure load in addition to the thrust loads. Now at the end of the analysis, we have a results table with the stress and displacement results of all cases that were requested with sensors. Now new for 2019 are solver improvements which have greatly increased the speed of the load case manager, enabling users to generate quick results for multiple loading scenarios. Now let's take a quick look at how the ramjets are mounted to the frame. One of the mounting locations includes two brackets that are designed to resist the thrust load from the ramjet. In addition to suppressing the components that aren't really necessary to test the brackets, we're going to use simulation pins instead of real ones to speed up processing. Now recent enhancements enable users to define a single pin across multiple concentric cylindrical surfaces at once. New for SOLIDWORKS 2019 is the ability to do this for nonlinear static and nonlinear dynamic analyses in addition to the linear static analyses that we are using for this one. On reviewing the analysis results, we can see that the bracket is safe. We can take a look at the forces acting on the pins as well. With the pin connectors in SOLIDWORKS simulation, users can view forces on each pin segment to come up with pin designs that are optimized to carry these loads. Again, this is Arun Taravyam and thanks for watching.